Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run BitTorrent through a VPN. So one of the reasons that people use BitTorrent is in order to do file sharing. And if you're on an internet connection, which is being monitored, for example, a university or college internet connection, or your parents are monitoring your internet and you want to be able to mask your BitTorrent traffic, then you're going to need to use a VPN in order to do so. So basically I'm going to teach you how to do this on the Mac operating system. And I'm also going to show you how to prevent any leaking of BitTorrent traffic so that it automatically doesn't fail over to your standard internet connection and thereby breach your privacy because there's no point running a VPN. There's no point running your BitTorrent traffic through a VPN if as soon as the VPN disconnects, then your BitTorrent traffic goes to your standard internet. I'm going to teach you how to activate that kill switch. So I'm running this on the Mac operating system and this is going to be an M1 Apple Silicon Mac tutorial. It should also apply to any modern Mac OS computer. So the first thing we're gonna do is to download a BitTorrent client. So the one I'm gonna be recommending is called qbittorrent.org. So I'll leave a link to this in the description. All we have to do is click the download button here. I'm gonna scroll down and find the Qubit Torrent version, which is the latest DMG. So I'll click on this one here and we're gonna find the Mac OS build here. I'm going to click this one now and it's going to download Qubit Torrent. Once we open the DMG from the downloads folder, we're going to move this into the applications folder. So just let go of that. And now that's gone into our finder and then we go to applications and then we're going to find Qubit Torrent here. We're going to double click on this. If you have this error message, then all you have to do is hold down the control key. And when you click on Qubit Torrent and press open, then we have the option here to press the open button again. And now we're going to press the I agree button. And now this has opened up Qubit Torrent. So next step is to find a VPN provider. So if you click the link at the top of the description of this video, you'll be taken to an affiliate link for ExpressVPN, which is the VPN software that I use and, that, and which I recommend. If you do make a purchase, I'll receive a small commission from this and you'll be helping to support the channel and the work that I do. So once you go to this link, you'll be taken to the ExpressVPN page. All we have to do is to press the Get ExpressVPN button, and then we're going to select a plan, enter your email address and a payment method, and make sure to pay or at least try the first month and just see how it works for you. If you've already signed up to a VPN like ExpressVPN, what we can do is just go to the product section. I'm gonna download the Mac client for ExpressVPN, and then we're gonna download the software here. And then this has downloaded the PKG file. So now we're going to open this in the downloads folder here. Now we're going to double click on ExpressVPN Mac and then click allow, click allow again, press continue and then install. Type in your password and then click install software. Now that's complete, press close, move to bin and close this. If you didn't already buy a subscription, you can buy one or we're just going to press sign in to your account. When you've purchased your subscription, you can paste in your activation code here and that'll allow you to sign in. So once you've entered your activation code, you'll sign in to your VPN. So here we're gonna press continue, then click allow. And now I'm gonna allow this to launch on startup. Here you can choose whether you want to send additional data to ExpressVPN. And now we have the ability to select a location. So if you click on this software here, you can now select a new location. I'm actually gonna select UK East London just to demonstrate how this works. Once I click this connect button, this is going to divert all of the internet traffic through ExpressVPN. And we can see this all working here. So now what we're gonna do is to configure Qubit Torrent. So we're gonna open up Qubit Torrent here. So what we're gonna do is go to preferences. We're gonna click on the Qubit Torrent here, click preferences, and we're gonna scroll down to advanced here. So we need to select the ExpressVPN interface. So the network interface here, it should be one of these U-turn interfaces. So I'm gonna switch it to U-turn zero, and basically we're gonna test this out. So I'm gonna find a torrent, so here I'm gonna find a legal torrent. I'm gonna to download the Linux free operating system Ubuntu, and we're gonna download what I think is probably the most popular one. So I'm gonna click on this torrent link here. Because we've installed Qubit Torrent, this is associated with the Qubit Torrent application. Alternatively, we could just drag this file into the client, and they'll press OK. So we are connected to the ExpressVPN, however, however, we have selected the incorrect interface. So basically just keep going until this starts. So to figure out which interface it is, what we need to go is to go to Spotlight, type in the word terminal, and then what we're gonna do is to turn off our VPN. Then we're gonna do the command if config, and then return. 
basically what I'm going to do is to maximize this screen so we can compare them. And then what I'm going to do is to log into ExpressVPN and go to my terminal again. I'm going to open up a new window. I'm going to put this on the right. Then I'm going to run the same command again, if config. And basically we're just going to compare what changes there have been. So we want to see which network interface has been added with the inclusion of the ExpressVPN. So here we can see that the last entry is U10 8. And so that's the network interface we want to bind to. It wasn't in the if config command on the left hand side here. So that is the name of the interface. So we can test this out by running the actual torrent itself. And if we actually disconnect our ExpressVPN, then this should actually stop. So I'm going to press the disconnect button. And now this speed has started to drop. In reality, no additional data has been downloaded, even though the speed is slowing down, so to speak. All internet traffic stopped as soon as I disconnected from our VPN. So basically, I'm going to press connect again, and it should reconnect here. And we should start getting more data straight away. So we can see this progress bar percentage is now increasing and we've now got this kind of kill switch activated. So if you decided to download anything from the internet that you didn't want your local network or internet service provider to see, then this is the method to use in order to bind your BitTorrent protocols to a specific VPN. Anyway, I hope you find this video useful. I've got lots of other Mac tutorials on my YouTube channel. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.